I'm Jeff Ehrlich. This is our first Thrive Project show. And we are at the Laguna Woods Lawn Bowling Facility, one of the finest in the country. And we're gonna be talking here to Bob Gervais, and he is the president of this club. So Bob, why don't you tell us a little bit about this club here at uh, Laguna Woods Village. Okay, uh, we have a great club, uh, great carpet. Uh, we have about uh, 100 uh, bowlers here. We bowl on, uh, actually we bowl every day. We bowl at 10 o'clock in the morning on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. We bowl in the uh, late afternoon, four o'clock on Monday, uh, Sunday, Monday, and Wednesday. And on Friday at nine o'clock, we have what's called competitive bowling. We have our bowlers that are in tournaments that want to improve. Okay, now Bob, how did you get started with lawn bowling here? Well, it's, it's really funny. Um, I was a teacher back in the East Coast and uh, my wife and I decided to move to California and I knew nothing about the village and I happened to call a realtor and he said, he asked how old I was and he said, I have a buyer broker that's in the village here and so we decided to move here. So my wife moved here in 2011. She moved here two months prior to myself. And when she got here, she signed me up for lawn bowling. And she telephoned me and said, uh, I signed you up for lawn bowling. I said, well, what's that? <laughs> I, so I went on the internet and I looked and I saw in Australia, New Zealand, everyone dressed in white and everything. So I said to my staff, I don't know. I don't know if I want to do that or not. So then when I got here, I found out you don't dress in white, it's only for special tournaments. And I started to bowl once a week and then it just got to me. It was like golf for some people and now I'm bowling every day and it's just uh, great. And so seven days a week? Seven days a week. So if somebody here in the village wanted to come try lawn bowling, they're, they're brand new, then what would you suggest to them as far as can they come down and and get some lessons or yes. how does that work for yes them? they can if they come down uh, during the week at nine o'clock they can get free lessons also on Saturday at nine o'clock also we have a display out there with cards they can take the card and they could phone and set up an appointment if nine o'clock is not convenient to get some lessons then. yes yes okay great and I hear that you have I hear last year that you actually had the US open here right in this facility, is that correct? Yes, we've had the U.S. Open here uh, up until this year. They now have gone to Florida for two years and then they'll be coming back here. And the U.S. Open is throughout the world. I mean, we had bowlers here from Holland, England, Ireland, Scotland, Australia, New Zealand. And we were very fortunate. Uh, they had the singles here, they had the pairs, and they had the fours, what's called the rinks. And our team of four people uh, competed against Holland and beat them Wow! and then went on uh, and finished fourth in that so we're very proud of that. This is worldwide. World, yeah exactly. That's amazing and we are age restrictive here correct because you yes. got to be 55, 55 plus to live here exactly so you can be playing against a 20 or 30 year old is that yes. correct? Yes you can. Wow that's, that's pretty amazing. Now, now I've heard Bob and I you know that you're one of the best players here and you know, I'm sure you don't want to toot your own horn but <laughs> could you tell us you know have you you know have you medaled yourself have you won a few trophies how's it been for you yes in my age group I normally win the village singles and pairs uh, we did come in uh, first in the winter league this past year uh, we went to Beverly Hills and played Santa Monica very top bowlers uh, two bowlers in particular from New Zealand and Australia, and we did very well. As I said, we came in first. Great. In the Coast League, uh, which is comprised of uh, Long Beach, uh, Laguna Beach, Newport, Santa Ana, the Groves, we came in second. Wow, that's pretty yes. impressive. So, Okay, well, it was great talking with you. I thank and, you. Um, thank you guys for coming. You know, again, I hope that people here in Laguna Woods Village are going to want to come visit this facility and, and uh, give lawn bowling a try. Yes, I hope so. Okay, thanks a lot. Thank Bob. you. Thank you. Next, we're going to be uh, talking to Dick Leroy, and I'm going to have Bob, the president of this club, uh, kind of tell you a little bit about Dick because he knows him better than anybody. Dick is one of our great bowlers. Dick has been 
uh, has lived in the villa since 1991, and he's been bowling since 1991. Dick has won a lot of tournaments. Uh, he, is, he is basically known for his short mat. He, uh, if you notice in the lawn bowling, our mats are about at the two meter mark. Well, Dick loves to raise that mat, move that mat close to what we call the hog line, which is almost the center. And a lot of times that confuses people, but Dick does it as a strategy when he's playing in tournaments. Okay, we don't ordinarily do that, but Dick in tournaments loves to do that. Dick is 90 years old, and he is very knowledgeable in the lawn bowling field, and I'm going to have him talk about lawn bowling. All right, so Dick, tell us why you like lawn bowling so much. It's easy. Okay. Uh, it's inexpensive, and you can do it as often as you want to. It's available seven days a week. Uh, for 10 years, I lived across the street at Mission Viejo, and I began bowling there in 87. So it's going on like forever. It was convenient, and just like it is here, it's convenient. Uh, you can come down like one, two, three days a week, and uh, the uh, the people are very nice, like the rest of Laguna Woods. Yes. So it's hard to believe that you're 90 years old. Do you feel that lawn bowling keeps you young? <laughs> Well, it does to some extent, see? And when I put my, when I put my name back there, see? <laughs> a, few, a few people will remember me. It says 90, right? Yes. Dip 90. When I, when I first came here in 91, there's a cycle about eight or 10 years where the prominent bowlers disappeared. So I was one of the prominent guys like three or four years ago, but since then, these young chargers have come along, and <laughs> I beat them occasionally, but they, uh, they give me a lesson every, every once in a while. Um, the, uh, the history of lawn bowling goes back like 5,000 years to the Egyptians. When it came to America, it kind of died out of the Revolutionary War, and many people in the East Plowed, plowed up the lawn bowling and they moved to Canada. So when the, when the war was over and uh, we came back to America, and some, some people did. Anyway, there are cities like Bowling Green, Ohio. <laughs> they still bear the name. Uh, the simplicity of the game is such that uh, anybody can learn very quickly. In 15 minutes, I can have you on the green playing competitively. Um, it's, it's helpful to have some athletic uh, skills, the ability to walk. <laughs> sure that, okay. So if you can walk, this, you could, you could, if you can walk, do you can the lawn the, bowling. Walk, you can play the game, yes. There right. are, um, we have, um, there are four or five of us who are in our 90s. And we get, um, when you get to be 90, uh, the club pays the dues for you. Beautiful. And the dues, by the way, I heard were like $30 a year. Is that correct? I what? $30 a year, I heard, for those dues. I, I play? Yes, 30 Right. Yes. So, I mean, you know, so the club picks it up when you're 90. Well, that's yes. a good goal, and for you to get to 90 so you well, can get those uh, well, dues yeah. paid for. <laughs> the attractiveness of the people and the ease with which you can get to know them. Many, many organizations are... You really can't interact with the people as much as you do here. Uh, we meet at uh, 10 o'clock in the morning, and, and by noon you're done. That's one of the advantages also. It doesn't dominate your life. If you're a golfer, why? It, it really kills the entire day where we, I can leave home at 9.30 in the morning. I'm home by 12.30, so I've got half of the day to uh, attend to a lot of medical things. Okay. Well, so it's a social thing, too. I saw your clubhouse here that you had. It's amazing in there. It looks like you've got, you know, refrigerator, microwave in there. You know, you can, you, know, you probably have, um, you know, some potlucks here maybe occasionally. In 91, uh, this building was half its size. Wow. And uh, this end of the building was used for storage of the bowls. Uh, a lady gave us $65,000, and she retired, and so we extended the club we built a facility down there to hold bowls and uh, so it's really a, a social center for us 
people get here at nine o'clock and they catch up on all the the world's What's activities. <laughs> <laughs> and then at noon, a number of people will bring their lunch and stay. And then the afternoon session starts. It's a smaller group of people, but it's very competitive. Down on the white mark. Well, hey, it was you know great talking with you, Dick, and and you know, congratulations on on getting to ninety. My name is on enough trophies too, so it won't won't be forgotten. That's that's great. <laughs> Hey, okay, well, it was great talking with you. I'm glad you're doing this project. It'll, uh, All right, well, thank you very it'll much. It'll be around a long time. Yes, it will. Thank you. This is Helen Matthewson right next to me, and she's been here about 23 years now, and she's been playing with the lawn bowling for six years. And she's going to give us a little tour of this incredible facility here in Laguna Woods Village. So let's let's go, Helen. Okay. So we're going to start with the clubhouse here, which is a fantastic facility. Welcome. As you can see, it's very well equipped, and very comfortable. It's wow. heated, air conditioning. We have many barbecues here. We have barbecues outside. And, it's and amazing here. So you've got a kitchen set up. Kitchen. You've got the refrigerator, yes. microwave. You've got cookies here. <laughs> we do. And it's only, what, it's, it's 10 o'clock in the morning? You've got our, cookies out here already? already thing, yes. We have our fantastic display case of our... Well, tell us a little bit. And Helen about this trophy cap there. I mean, this is well, I, quite a trophy cap. It is a trophy cap. You can see it goes way Where's back. the most recent trophy here? Do you have one? This, that's... this is right here. This is the Winter League winning first place trophy. 2016. So yes, that was, uh, uh -huh. wow, we, that was we just recent. We won that in February. So Holy cow. That's very new. And um, when we play the tournaments Winter League, we play... Uh, uh, clubs like Laguna Beach, Newport Beach, uh, Beverly Hills, Santa Monica, and um, we did we did win this trophy at the Beverly Hills facility playing uh, Santa Monica. That's what, not the latest. What can you tell us, you know, about the balls? Actually, the weight, can you tell us a bit about the about the balls themselves? The weights? Yes. Well, they come in different weights from one through, I believe seven. I don't believe they use sevens anymore. One through five. Uh, all, no, I should say double zeros. Double zeros are very small and very rare, you know, uh, for the small women's hands. Uh, um, I use the three. They weigh about three pounds. Okay, so that's, so that, that's, that's a very heavy. Bit. Yeah, well, compared to a bowling ball, it's. Oh, compared to a bowling ball, but lighter. remember we roll this. If you play a three end game, we would be bowling at uh, 42 times. So, so now tell us. You know, you mentioned that you had the U.S. Open here. We did. tell us how. You know, do you use both of the um, both the courses here? Both the courts. Okay. Both the courts open. Uh, the U.S. Open is, you know, like we said, is a very it's a worldwide event. Right, international and, international. and how many participants will you know that you have in 2015? Well, we'd have to say there's eight there's eight rings on each green. Okay. So it would be sixteen greens. And it depends on whether they're playing pairs or triples. Or triples. Okay, great. Uh, yeah. So pairs is, you know, would be four people on a green. And this used to be, um, you know, it was grass. It was grass. And then you had switched over ago. to carpet three yes. years ago. You think carpet's a little better than... Okay. than... I love carpet. Okay, uh, why carpet's is Carpet's easier on the arm. Uh, not right. everyone's crit and not everyone likes it. It's faster, you know. It changes the bias of the balls, but but I I I, I really like it. Okay, Helen. The last question I want to ask you: I know that people when they move here, it's like being in a community. Oh, so is. when you're in the lawn bowling club like here, and you're in a community, what's it like in this very nice clubhouse when it's just hustling and bustling with people? Can you tell us a little bit about that? Well, it's it's a picnic uh, sort of uh, uh, what do you call it? Air or it, it it's a they're sitting around enjoying uh, the barbecues going on outside. The doors are open. People are walking in and out, and all the other goodies are here on this table. So, and our kitchen is being uh, taken.
taken care of by some of our volunteers. Okay. Volunteers are everything to this oh, club. Oh, yes, absolutely. Everything. This club does not operate. Right. Without you've got about 150 members. Yes, and, without and volunteers, so you, you've it does not have the volunteers exist. to so keep it clean. They are, yeah, to do everything. No, so you probably solve the world problems in here, too, oh, don't well, you? Oh, we can. Of course. Yeah, do they talk yeah, politics in here? Oh, we try not to talk politics or religion. That would be okay, good. well, that's that's good, I, I think. But, uh, but no, we have a great time. It's a very friendly, open, you know, and it's, it's, it's great, especially if we're entertaining uh, uh, outside clubs. Yes. You know, it's very festive. Well, they're pretty festive impressed. Is the word. Hmm? Well, Helen, I know you're playing out there, so I want to let you get back out. Thank you. But thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Okay, Dick is going to talk about some of the interesting people here that do the lawn bowling. Here's Dick. The, um, the club is made up of people from all over. This, this lady in orange is from, uh, from Wales, and she's been in this country like 40 years. Or... Okay, this is Mary right here we're talking to, and she's from Wales. That's correct. And we're going to ask you a few questions here about uh, the lawn bowling. Tell us why you love it so much. Well, I love it because it's something that I can do um, and I can do it on my own. I don't have to rely on other people to be good. I've got to learn to do it myself. And if I don't play well, that's my fault. And how many years have you been playing? Um, my husband, who's just deceased, sorry, he dear. introduced me to lawn bowling about... Um, hmm, Ten years ago. Great. And how long have you lived in the village here? Since 1998. Okay, that's great. Almost 20 years getting that's close. That's correct. Now. That's correct. Ask and her about her hair and we're done. Oh. Ask her about her hair. Purple. There's some crazy. Okay, tell us about your hair now. It's a little purple there. Yes. Well, I wanted to give myself a lift. <laughs> so I found a can of stuff. Okay. in uh, Walmart and I just sprayed it on my hair to give me a lift. Do you like it? Beautiful. I like it. Thank you. I do you do like, like it? it? I love it. I love it too. Love it. Okay. Thank we'll you. We'll let you get back to lawn bowling. Thank you very much. This lady right here in the in the blue shirt, she's, she was the president for um, four years. Um, she took the job over because nobody else would do it, I guess. Okay, today here we have Ellie Orweiler, and she was the past president of the Laguna Woods Village Lawn Bowling Club. And um, you know, we're gonna ask you a few questions here. Uh, you know, tell us how long you've been doing the lawn bowling. Uh, since about probably seven or eight years now. Mm -hmm. Seven or eight years, and why do you like it so much? It's just re a relaxing sport, yeah. It's not too hard, and it's a lot of fun. A lot of nice people, and uh, you know, so it's, great. it's a great sport, you know, when you can't do other, you know, if you're unable to do other things, it's a good sport it's to move into. Yeah. And your partner's on the other side over there, correct? Mm -hmm. We're paying, playing pairs, so there's two okay. against two. You're playing the pairs. Other ones you see over here, that's three against three, so those are triples. Which do you prefer playing I like, yourself? I like pairs. You like the pairs? Uh -huh. You, yeah, you get one more bowl. <laughs> and each game now lasts, I heard, about two hours. Is that correct? Yeah, it could be a if, little if bit longer. If you're playing even a little bit longer than that. Yeah. Okay. It's uh, 14 ends, and in the summertime it goes down to 12 ends because it gets hot, too hot. It's a little less than yeah, so. a little less. And you start at 10 o'clock in the morning here, mm -hmm. correct? And we also play in the afternoon. And uh, I think two games at um, like Tuesday and Thursday at 1, and then we have three games at 4 o'clock. During okay, the week. great. And then every morning at, at every morning except Sunday. Except Sunday. Right. Okay. Everyone's going to church then. Right. We hope. Okay. We hope. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome. We give uh, we give lessons whenever somebody wants a lesson. Basically, it's Saturday morning, but people can call and uh, we'll arrange a training session for them anytime. Uh, a couple of training sessions of an hour apiece. Uh, most people can be qualified to play in the daily game. It's, it's very simple. 5,000 years ago, the Egyptians did it, <laughs> and they had a different kind of target than, a, than the jack. 
and some of those people had their equipment, their bowling equipment, buried with them, which was typical of uh, people of that era. And when you've been here, you've been playing lawn bowling here for how many years? Uh, Thirty-seven. I, I started in in '87 uh, across the street at Castel Sol. And I used to go uh, drive down or ride my bicycle over to the Bowling Green and watch. I did that for a couple of years. And then when I retired uh, in 86, we were gone a year, came back in 87 and uh, took a lesson and played in that afternoon game. So <laughs> my life, uh, as far as um, activities go, pretty much been confined to lawn bowling and a couple of other things here in the village, but the lawn bowling is, is convenient in that you can play once a week, twice a week, whatever you want. In the afternoon, there are uh, many individuals who come up and practice on by themselves. That's the people who have um, the, the zeal to, to get better. And uh, there are people that, that when I, I was their trainer, and now they beat me regularly. So it's persistence and track, practice, practice, practice. Okay, so Bob, what exactly is your strategy on your next shot here? Okay, this is a very difficult shot because the jack is not towards the center. It's almost on the out of bounds. Uh, so I'm gonna draw first to see, I may, if I'm still only down one point, throw a runner, which is a fast shot, and try to hit that ball off. Get the ball out of there. Right. Okay, here we go. All right, how's it going? It looks pretty good. Mm. Nice. I just took the shot. Whoa! Oh, they couldn't get a better shot than that. Hopefully, you got that on. on I did. Film. That was fabulous. That's gonna be on YouTube forever. <laughs> how, I, not playing. How good is that shot? You that just is a made? great shot. That's a great shot. Unless you're not out of bounds either. That's I don't think I could have had that shot if you didn't have the camera in there. <laughs> he, he's gonna knock. He, now he's gonna miss it. Now he's gonna miss it. All right, so Bob, tell us now about your okay. next shot. Because Tina, are we holding two? Okay, so we're holding two now because I knocked their ball out. I'm going to do another draw and hopefully be a little short right in front to make it difficult for Frank. Smart, okay. So you're going to block him. Try to. You certainly don't want to hit yours, though. Uh, I could as long as I don't move it that far. Now that's in for another point. Hold it, hold it, hold it. So now you've got, how many points do you have three. right now? Three, I have three, three right now. So what would be his strategy? To try to knock that ball off or to cut ball. it down. Looks like he's gonna get right in the middle there. Yeah. Whoops. All right, so he took second shot. Very good shot, Frank. Now what's your objective? Same thing to draw and get beat his shot. You rolled that one a little lighter. Uh, I think a little heavier. Heavier. Yeah, a little heavier. Wrong turn. So we have one point. Were they coaching down there? So um, how would you give, it, give us some perspective about what we just saw here as far as how good that was and what did we just see? Well, uh, it was a difficult shot. The jack was almost out of bounds. I had to have a lucky draw, which I did, and took shot. And I drew in for a second point, and then Frank took that one out. So we ended up with one.
Bob's first ball was a classic. That delivery, first delivery was a classic. A very, very good shot. Very difficult. But he did it. Thank you, Frank. Okay, Bob is going to give me a little lesson here with the lawn bowling. I've never done it before. And we'll see you know, if he can teach this guy how to do this. Okay, we'll try our best. So here we're going to place the mat. Here's the, the two meter mark. Okay. You want to get something either on the two meter mark or past, nothing before. So I generally like to put the mat there. And now you're going to throw the jack. Now right. I'm going to let you do this, Jeff. Okay. And, and you've got to get past that second yellow stripe. Okay. Okay. So you're going to throw it, aim for the eight down there. And you put one foot on here? And yes, oh yes. Have to take one way foot. to hold it? Exactly. No, nope. take away no to hold that's it. fine. One foot has to and be And then on. you know, you bend those knees a little bit. Right. And we're going to try to go toward that eight, right? Yes. And how hard? Uh, that's it. difficult. Try to get something past that second uh, yellow stripe. Okay, here we go. Okay, that's, that's way that's too hard. Too, way too, way hard. too hard. Way too hard. It's All right. going to be in the gutter. Okay, so this gentleman will set it for us. Yes. No, hey, just not a good it. start for me. Just set it, Frank. Well, you gave it too much rather than too little. Yeah, a little too much muscle. No, on up that. here more. You're going to throw, um, and this one, you're going to throw the forehand. Now, notice this has a large star that has a smaller star. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. So for the forehand, you're going to throw in this this way. Okay. If you were going the backhand, you're going to move your foot and having the small one and you're going to go on that side of it. Okay. So either way you want to do it. So you're going to go this way, okay? Mm -hmm. And you are going to aim for that uh, first white mark because okay. I know my bowls. So you're so just going to aim curve for that first bit. white mark. Yeah. Okay, so basically throw it, like don't this. throw it as fast as you threw the other. Okay. Frank, am I holding? Yeah, okay. Too hard? Yes. Too hard. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so let's try one more. One more. Okay. And and so you've got to get to that. You've got to get to that white, but throw it a little easier. Okay. That's much better. I'm used to bowling, so you're I gonna like this. You're gonna like this. Really nice. Okay. You're about three feet from the jack. Not bad for a second try. For a second Not try, bad. okay. Well, Very good. Must Jeff. be a good coach. <laughs> All right, thanks, Bob. Okay. Thank you. How was that? Well, that was fun. I can see this could be a challenging game, and again, like I said, it's it really takes the stress off you. It's a very peaceful game. People not yelling and screaming out here, and and I can see this could be a very fun game. Dick, we want to thank you today, and and uh, you know, be 91 in a couple months, and you're still playing, and just keep it up. And we appreciate. I'm not going to play more than ten years. More though. Okay, not more than ten years. That's we'll come back on your hundredth birthday. Take boy. care.